Hi, this is Paul from Cheap Phone Reviews, and today we're reviewing the Motorola Moto G6 Play. Okay, so first things first, I just got to say the battery life on this is unbelievable. It's awesome. You can play games on it, you can watch YouTube videos on it, you can do pretty much whatever you want to do, and you look at it and you think, oh, the battery ain't moved. Like it is crazy. Yeah, I'm well, well, super duper impressed. It is a four hundred, uh, four sorry, a four thousand milliamp battery, so it's bound to be good. Okay, so first things I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you the gameplay on it. I've been playing a real a racing free, and I'll tell you something, it is really good. I'm impressed with it, so I'm going to show you this first because, well, this is the first thing that I clicked on. <clears throat> okay, we're going to wait for it to load up. Hopefully this won't take too long. I don't know if it's my internet or, yeah, here we go. Real racing free, okay. So you've not played this game, it's uh, worth worth a download. It's free to download as well. Um, yeah, no sponsor here. Okay, right, um, where are we at? We're over here. So I'm gonna I'll just have a quick race, see what you think about it. That's my BM at the moment, my one series. We'll do this one. That's my one uh, one series M Coupe, and it is kitted to the uh, absolute, yeah. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna show you this first, <clears throat> and then we're gonna jump onto a few more things. Obviously, reviewing on the phone. Here we go, I'm ready. So, here we go. So there's no lag. Anytime you ever see it sort of, well, it's not so much lag, I think it's the actual game, is in one of the loading bits now and again. But the actual gameplay, it never, I've, not, I've not seen it lag at all. So yeah, you can, uh, you can either have it like this, where you tap the screen, or you can have it on motion where you move the phone. Um, me, myself, I prefer it like this. You can change the views as well. See? Now for a phone that's £150, I'll tell you something, it does not bring out the graphics in the game and stuff like that. I'm super duper impressed with it. Ah! It's a shame. I should have done one with a few more cars in it. Anyway, we'll smash it into the wall and see what it does. Oh, look. And I'll just finish the race. Anyway, so yeah, gameplay on it, awesome. Okay, after playing a real racing free, we're gonna have a look at videos. Okay, so it plays YouTube videos or videos which it, it plays them very, very well. Um, I am impressed. The only thing that, here we go. This is Paul from Sound Mobiles. I'm back. Okay, so this is my scratch card comeback. We've got a few new cards out as well. Um, I've had my break. It's not been quite. I'll turn the volume down. Basically, the volume is not bad, but you have one speaker on it. So this is it here. So that is it. So your rear speaker and your lower speaker is part of the same thing. You can also, while we're watching a video, oh, while it's buffering like because my shocking internet. You can also go like that and uh, obviously pinch to zoom and then it will, uh, yeah, make the screen bigger, edge to edge nearly. Um, quite, um, I am really super duper impressed with the plan of the, of the videos. Obviously the shocking internet is awful and my 4G is awful as well. Okay, so getting back, we've got uh, Google Pay as well. I've been using Google Pay with it as well. Well impressed with that. It's literally, you just literally press that and then you tap it and boom, we're done. And uh, yeah, that's impressive. Going through, we're gonna go have a look at some settings and I'm gonna show you some basic stuff. There it is. Okay, so battery life. You got about one day and eight hours left of battery life. The way I'm carrying on apparently. Okay, here we go, sounds. Um, standard ringtones, I believe. I did have a look at them. Where did we go and have a look at them? Dolby Audio. It's uh, 
it's okay. It literally is okay. In my eyes, the audio is the one thing that kind of let. It's the one speaker thing that lets it down. But it is quite cool having a front-facing uh, speaker, which is nice. Um, where are we going for the audio? Here we go. So, uh, phone ring. So just some standard ringtones. Add ringtones, so you can add your own ringtone as well. So you could download the uh, free ringtone thing through Google and uh, add your own ringtone. Obviously you've got message tones in there as well. The best, one of the, one of the other best things that I think about it is the fingerprint, uh, the fingerprint reader. So literally it is touch and it's open. Literally touch it. There you go. I missed it. That it literally is that good. Let me turn that off. And just to prove it, I'll touch it with another finger. And touch with the right one. So I am super duper impressed with the fingerprint scanner. That's spot on. Obviously, I'm going to show you footage of the camera and everything in a bit. Drag down from the top, you've got a, slight, a standard light like, sort of Android men menu here. Um, flicking over, you've got Wi-Fi, you've got BT, uh, sorry, Bluetooth, BT, what's wrong with me? Auto um, rotate, and you've got battery saving. I don't think you're even, you're even going to need that battery saving. It is that good. Super impressed with the battery. Okay, so we've got Moto here. I'm going to take you into Moto and show you a few features so you've got features here okay so you've got moto keys and that's obviously just if you um access to websites and stuff using your fingerprint and stuff like that okay so one of the, one of my favorite features is if you quickly rotate it like that it brings on the camera so if you give it two two little quick flicks of the wrist there you go brings up the camera and also if you go like that it uh, brings up the fra flashlight as well. Do that to turn it off. Oh, and if you flick a wrist, I think that's pretty cool. They're only little things, but I, d I generally do think they're that's a cool little cool little extra, isn't it? At the end of the day, um, obviously, as I said, the fingerprint is awesome. I like this like little thing where it tells you where it's going to rain a lot with the weather and that. And obviously this is your battery life going around the outside. So you, it's another sort of indicator as well. I like a time like that. You can make this a little bit smaller if you'd wanted to on the display, flicking up. Um, we've got some other features as well. Where was the other features what I was gonna show you? Uh, security, let's have a look at security. Obviously you've got your pattern after the fingerprint. You've got the smart lock on there as well. Um, location on battery saving. You've got show password, and then these are just like the Google stuff as well. Okay, coming out of that, accessibilities. So you've got the uh, select to speak, the talk back. Bigger, bigger, uh, bigger, uh, blah, blah. <laughs> sorry, bigger writing. So you can go up to large like that. That's quite nice if you're uh, not so great at seeing like I probably will be in a few years. Display size, so you can make it bigger and like that as well. In your texting, oh, I've left that on, put that back. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what a keyboard's like for messaging. It's pretty cool. It's quite responsive. It, it does everything that I need to do. Uh, where are you today? You are the king of, don't know, the zoo. <laughs> yeah, so basically, obviously, and as I showed you earlier with the big text, and you can make that go up as well. But the QWERTY keyboard is, is you know what I mean, it does its job. Um, also, you can press that and start talking. There you go, start talking. This is obviously on most Android phones anyway. 
but it is pretty cool. Obviously, you can tell by that the mic the microphone picks you up as well. Yeah, there you go. The emojis, the emojis are all right. I mean, they're just sort of yeah, they don't look as cool as the Apple ones or something like an S nine, but they do the job. You know what I mean? They, they obviously it changes to all different phones anyway. Okay, so the dial in. So you've got the dial in that comes up quite nice, nice size. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So that would be your size of your eleven digit number if you was in the UK and you wanted to do that. Um, and then obviously as you go on, it does get a little bit smaller. But yeah, I'm pretty impressed with that. It calls out nicely. You can hear everyone. They can hear you. It's it's nice and clear. Obviously with this speaker. And right, let's jump onto the front facing camera. Okay, so front facing camera. Obviously, I will show you footage with that. If we flick over to it, ooh, okay, so you can also use the flash. So the flash is on, um, there you go. Yeah, pretty cool. Uh, it's just, you don't, it's not very often that you have a front facing flash. That's why I thought I'd show you that. And obviously there is all settings as well here. Uh, full HD, 30 frames per second with the video in, which is cool. Uh, facey uh, <sighs> selfie photo mirror what is a selfie photo mirror then I've switched it on what does that do oh there you go expose the light as well very nice um yeah I don't know what a selfie photo mirror does not really quite sure on that one uh yeah, so there's a hell of a lot to go through if you want to go through it. Set out grids, photo size and all that. Happy days. Flicking back. Obviously, you can flick round to the rear camera as well, like so. I don't know whether that's going to change all the... Yeah, that's just... There you go. Mmm, very cool. So this is recording in my office. So I just want to check to see what the sound would have been like. Okay, so that's my wheel, my wheel of fortune. And then we've got some other bits on the shelf, some Coke bottles. Probably won't want to drink them now. They've been there for about five years. There's a Nokia up there, uh, 7110, oh, no, sorry, 8110. And then we've got some bad painting up there. Look at that bad painting. Um, and then we've got the scratch card wall of fame. There you go. That one's a winner. What's it like in the old... Oh. Tap to zoom as well, or tap to focus, I should say. And then obviously, oh, look. Do you know what? That's really good, actually. Obviously, it's my hand shaking. Um, yeah, nice. And also, at the same time, you can take a picture. So I just took a couple of pictures of that as well. And you can, oh, is that pause? Now, that I do like. You can actually pause the video and carry on where you, uh, where you left. Flashlight here as well, or light, torch, so torch share. Yeah. This is all going on while you're filming as well, which I think is pretty cool. I am damn impressed with this phone. I really am. Yeah. This is very messy in here at the moment. Um, yeah. Zoom into that old YouTube situation up there. So you just sort of like drag your finger up the screen to zoom in, which is cool. Yeah. But I do like that pause thing. Oh, it would be interesting to see. I'm going to pause it now and see whether it actually stops when... Uh, um, make, wh wh whether you would know that I paused it. So I'm going to pause it now. And then we're going to start it again like that. And see whether you actually sort of knew whether I did or not. But yeah. Um, that's the uh, 13 megapixel camera on the back. Happy days. Front facing camera as well. Happy days. Look at that. Do you know what? It looks good. It does look good. And once again, you've got that pause button as well. Um, and also the shutter button to snap a picture. There you go. And you've got a torch on that as well. Oh, so for selfies. Look at that, girls. This is a girl's phone, isn't it? Like that. Yeah, babe. Yeah. I am super duper impressed with this phone. I'm not saying it because I'm... Because, yeah... 
I'm literally, I bought it because I thought, yes, that looks like a good phone. Yes, I need a phone. Yes, that looks like the uh, daddy for me. Yeah. There you go, guys. That's the front-facing camera as well. Stuff that you're likely going to be using it for is stuff like Facebook. So basically, uh, browse through Facebook as much as you want. Um, obviously, a lot of the time when it doesn't come up, that is my internet. Super impressed with the battery. The battery is uh, definitely, I would say, one of the best ma batteries on the market in a mobile phone, especially for what 150 quid. It's uh, pretty crazy stuff. Emails come through, perfect. Everything comes through. It pings you. Um, I've, I've downloaded a few games. Obviously, that real racing, I was playing that. Um, that's what I've been mainly playing on it. Yeah, I, I am super duper impressed with it. For £150, like I say, I think it's, it is a very, I think it's very great value for that money. I mean, if you've got a, like a, a kid who's just gone to secondary school or something like that, I would say this is, in my eyes, this is, this is on par with an iPhone 6s. That's where I, that's where that's where I would put it. Um, that's just my opinion, but yeah, it's uh, definitely on par with that. Fingerprint reader, the camera, back flash. I mean, obviously, you've seen what the camera's like. It is it is good? You know what I mean? It is good. I'm I'm super duper impressed with it. Obviously, this is I didn't I didn't go through all features, every single feature that you could possibly want to go through. Um, a lot of it's just stock. Android with Motorola on top and stuff like that. Um, calendar, You've got your Google Calendar there as well. From the lock screen, you can also access the Google Assistant. So if you pull up like that, that obviously you've got to enter your pin, but you can also access the camera and obviously that will take you straight into it. So this is the Dolby Audio, what I was saying about earlier. You can change it up or do whatever you want to do with it. Make it sound better, I suppose. Um, I'll just reset it. I'm having it as normal. You've got movies, music, games, voice. Obviously, it does. It must make a little bit of a difference. Um, you can cust obviously do your custom there as well. I've not. I've not really tried that. Um, yeah, but other than that, I mean, the the audio is it's okay. It's just it's just I don't I don't get the one speaker, but it is facing you, so it's kind of a result that way. Um, I think, really, I've showed you everything that you're possibly going to sort of really want to do on it. Um, obviously, it runs it runs absolutely fine. There's no lagging or anything like that. It does exactly what you need it to do um, when you want to do it. And obviously, you've still got that battery life. I think, I think that's mainly what I'm impressed with the most, the battery life, especially when I was playing Real Racing 3. And uh, I was thinking, oh, this is going to cane the battery. And then all of a sudden, I come back to it and you're like, wow. That's that's pretty impressive. The battery's still sort of really good. I've been watching. I was watching YouTube videos in the morning, and then I was playing real racing, and I still went to bed. And you had like I think there was something like thirty six percent left. And I thought to myself, that is really good. My iPhone would have definitely died by then. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah. So super duper impressive. It. If you do want to get yourself one of these, you can pick it up for around about one hundred and forty to one hundred and fifty pound. I bought this SIM free from Argos. Obviously, you get this case with it as well from Argos. I think you get it from everywhere. Um, the back is a bit of a fingerprint magnet with uh, fingerprints, obviously. Uh, but the case is always on it when I've got it. So, yeah, it's always good to have a case. Down here, you have got your mic and your uh, micro USB. Going around to the side, you have your power on and off and then your volume up and down. Up here, we have a second... Sorry. Up here, we have a secondary mic, and then over here, we've got the 3.5 headphone jack, and then the 13 megapixel camera with flash in the back. The fingerprint scanner, I like the way that it's got the Moto logo there. Happy days. And uh, obviously, over this side, which I didn't show you the other day when I was unboxing it, just here is your uh, SIM card slot and SD slot, because you can put up to 256 gigabyte memory card in it as well, which is... What a touch. I've got, I think I've got 64 gig in it. Okay, let's do some internet searching. I'm using Chrome. Um, we're going to search cars. 
They always seem to search cars for some reason. Don't know why, but there you go. Okay, so bring up the images. Ooh, very nice. So the in internet search is, you know what I mean, is spot on as well. Can't complain about that. It literally is good. Obviously, internet is uh, as well. Um, also, if you press this like little Google button here, you can actually uh, use their like it's like little gifs, and then there's actual gifs here as well. And if you go along, where has it gone? If you go, no, nope, into there, into here, you can have a themed keyboard. So if you press on that, click on that, and apply, and you go up here, I have a red keyboard, which is actually a lot better to see. And you can actually theme it to pictures as well. Um, so that one there. There you go. Can't see that one very well, but I like I like the red one actually. I'm probably going to keep the red one. I've literally just found out this. Uh, yeah, so I will keep that red one like so. And then click into here. Um, drag to customize. Okay, got it. So edit one hand uh, one one handed. So you can have one handed mode. There you go. So the keyboard's within reach of one handed. And what else have we got in there? Text edit. All right, so if you, uh, let's go back. So if I go like that, hello, Paul Sandwell, and then go back into that and then go text edit, and go back like that from, so it goes back through the letters, and you can go select, Mm. Oh, selects it all. Copy, cut. Oh, that, do you know what? That's handy, that is. I'd probably use that. Um, settings, and then obviously just your settings, uh, voice, voice typing. So you can go, obviously that's with the Google thing. But yeah, no, I'm impressed with that. I've, I've just see that little added extra little Google thing there. Obviously when you're sending a message, um, you've got it there as well. So you could go, uh, Oh yeah, you've also got a translator there as well. Um, where is it there? So you're assuming you can send these like that. So a little, uh, <laughs> well, different. It is different, yeah. So that is basically um, that. I am super duper impressed with it. To be honest with you, I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. If you have enjoyed this uh, review and it's been helpful to you, please give the video a thumbs up. The sub button is down below. Subscribe to see lots more reviews. I have got another couple of phones coming up. They are basic phones. So if you're looking for um, a, uh, it's basically for, for the older, there's one coming up for the older generation. Um, so if you're looking for one for um, say your nan, your mum or anyone for Christmas, then uh, yeah, watch out for that. It's coming up, I think within the next, 10 days i believe when i get back off of holiday um it's all been ordered so yeah and it's fairly cheap as well thanks very much for watching guys and i'll see you all very soon peace out <laughs>